Good morning, Passat World. Just wanted to give you guys a quick demo of the Euro cluster with the FIS display. First of all, probably one of my favorite features is the new door open indicator. I actually have a little picture of my variant there. The little door is open. If I pop open the uh, passenger side here. And we reach back here, open this door. And probably my favorite part about this is the little variant hatch that pops open. I thought that was just the bee's knees. Let's get down to brass tacks here. Close these doors. One thing I did for you guys is I set my service computer to um, be within the replacement age. So I get my service reminder now. And as you see, uh, I got a main menu. I didn't know about this, but if you uh, turn your display off before you shut the car off, when it turns back on, it'll come on and give you that menu. Now, that's a status warning. If I had low fuel, low oil pressure, or whatnot, it would all be showing up right now on the screen. As you can see, it reverts back to its off state. Now. When it comes on, if I didn't select anything, and if I just left the bar on display off, after several seconds, it will time out and go back to its previous mode, which is display off. So that's pretty neat that now it's more like a true trip computer and the fact that you can turn it on and off as you want to use it or check status as you want to. Going back to the menu now, we'll see we have a trip computer, car status, navigation, as well as the display off. Now, let's go to the trip computer. Trip computer is just like the half height MFAs, all the same information. Temperature is always there. In the top half we have instanta uh, excuse me, instantaneous mileage, time since running, uh, average speed, distance, fuel till empty, average mileage pretty standard there. Nothing much has changed on the trip computer. Now let's go back to the menu. And what you see about this menu is uh, currently car status is flashing, which indicates that there are current events to view. Now, if I didn't have the low washer fluid, oops, that would have stayed solid, just like the other menu options. But if you have things to look at, you can go into this menu option, and here's where it would display all the current warnings. If I had low fuel, it would say status one of two, and I could use the buttons here on the stock to switch through those warnings. Now, if I had the uh, MFD navigation installed, I could activate that by going to this menu item. But of course, I don't have it, so it's going to tell me it's not available. So that's about it as far as the, the uh, FIS features go. One neat thing about the car status is if I didn't have a current status, it would say status OK here instead, and the menu item wouldn't be flashing. And that about does it. Uh, another really neat thing about this cluster is I have my cruise control light now. The US cluster has the cruise light, but for some reason it's not enabled. And uh, there was something else that was neat, but I don't remember what it was. So if I remember, I will definitely post about it. Um, I think it was just that it has all of the European uh, icons instead of the uh, United States text words, which is uh, pretty cool, I thought. So yeah, that's the Euro Cluster 
with full FIS display in a nutshell.